Hi everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about a new way to challenge myself and save money at the same time. If you're interested in learning more, stick around. It's time to release the word Kraken. Welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm Sarah. I'm a multi-genre indie author writing in romance, fantasy, and horror. I am trying to get a handle on all of my money so that I'm making better decisions and not going into debt to publish my books. But I'm also trying to make my life more enjoyable and using some of the things I've learned about saving money and how I want to save money to do that. What I haven't talked about much is my health. I, about oh, a little over a year ago, had some major surgery and it changed a lot about how I think about my health and my body. And I realized I had shifted a lot during the pandemic and I had thought it was the pandemic because everybody's bodies changed and energy levels shifted it seemed. But after the surgery, I realized something had been wrong and the surgery did take care of it in some ways. But over the year after the surgery, it took me time to get back to what I thought my normal energies were. And I had been warned about this. Everybody I know who had had the surgery, and I have many friends who have had the surgery in their lifetime, have said, it takes a year for you to get back to what you used to be. And as I realized through the course of the year, I wasn't getting back to where I was before the surgery, but before the pandemic. And the more energy I had, the more I wanted to go to the gym, the more I wanted to be engaged in the world again. Things that I had not felt since the pandemic started, started to come back. And my body started to shift as I went to the gym more, as I had more energy to get back into the shape I had been in pre-pandemic. To be honest, I've never been entirely very healthy. I love eating. I hate working out. Uh, but as I get older, I seem to like working out more. Now, I do have a daily exercise regime, so to speak, in that the dog and I take about a three-quarter of a mile walk together. And it's one where I get my heart rate up, I burn some calories and some fat, and I it really has kept me going. It was something that I needed to get back to after my surgery. And I go to the gym once a week with my personal trainer. And that has been critical in me regaining strength and energy. But I need to keep going. I need to keep pushing myself. I have goals for myself that I want to achieve that are centered around me feeling healthy and able to do all the things I want to do. And it's not so much about eating or weight or body shape, but how I feel. And I realize it's time to take the next step. And I love a good savings challenge at the same time. So one of the things a friend suggested I do over a year ago, because she was doing it and had been enjoying it, was a virtual race. She had started doing one from the company Conqueror, that is a Lord of the Rings virtual race. Uh, and this is how she got me because I love things and I'm a geek and they have these gorgeous, gorgeous medals that you get when you participate in these races. This is the Shire, the first leg of the Lord of the Rings race. And when you open it up inside, it, it's the one ring. It fits on my finger, and yet I do not disappear. Alas, I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. But look at the back of this one. It's just beautifully done. It has weight to it. And as she showed it to me, I realized I want that. I want that now. So I promptly went home, put it on my credit card, did not think about it, got the, got the app downloaded, started doing it, and loved doing it. It was fast. I got, they give you on the app, 
if you and I can't show you because I am recording on my phone but on the app you get to see your progress for the Lord of the Rings race you are seeing it on the actual map of Middle Earth that the fellowship takes and it was a five a five medal challenge that I bought so there was the Shire and then the fellowship and the fellowship is one of two that have a long and a short version and I having no sense of what 600 miles really feels like did the long one it took me half the year uh this one also gorgeous this is uh Rivendell you can see actually this is going to Rivendell so you can see that like they're the ring wraiths the haunted version of them when the ring is on and then the black hooded creatures you see and then I can't show you the Moria medal because it's not right in front of me, but this is the box it comes in. And right now I am doing uh, the next phase of that. And I loved doing that. In fact, if you look in the community section, you'll see that I saw that they were having a sale. It wasn't more than $3 off, but I did it. And I bought a Paris trip that my friend and I did uh, that you, you, virtually walk around Paris and I did it with my best friend who loves Paris with me so we had a blast and the, the, again that is a beautiful medal well in the last year since I started this one they've come out with three more challenges that I very much want to do but are expensive they're $200 each actually one is 127 it's three medals. There's a $200 one and then another $200 one, which is both five medals. This one is the second round of the Lord of the Rings. This, this first one follows Frodo and Sam's path, which is to Mount Doom where they destroy the ring, which is why the one ring is in the metal of the first one because you will put it in the final medal having destroyed it at the end but if you remember lord of the rings you know frodo and sam go off on their own path whereas everybody else in the fellowship except boromir because he dies uh not a spoiler it's been 20 years you know what happens the book has been out for almost everybody's lifetime so the second three medal challenge takes you out to Rohan, to Isengard, and then back to, to Mordor. So that's three medals for $127. This one is a five medal Game of Thrones challenge. Medals look beautiful. I don't know what the paths are. I'm not really sure what the paths would be. I don't care. I want them. And then this one is their newest multi metal challenge and it's scooby-doo and the metals glow in the dark and i want them so much i when i i'm gen x when i was a kid i didn't want to go to kindergarten because i might miss scooby-doo that's the kind of scooby-doo kid i was so yeah i want all of them so that's 527 dollars and yeah i can whip out that credit card and put it on there but that's not what i'm doing now now I'm being intentional and because I track the mileage of these races from the exercise it feels like they should be a reward for doing more exercise so I'm doing a get in shape girl savings challenge for the next one we're gonna start I'm gonna do the first one it will be the second Lord of the Rings I will only need 127, but we're going to just save the 200. Then we'll do the Game of Thrones. Then we'll do Scooby-Doo because, because I want to, because I feel like that's just appropriate. And I'm then going to have to buy some sort of display for my medals. It's, it's a thing. There's going to be more things that I'm going to need to buy over time. And once I've done with these virtual challenges, assuming there's no other ones that I desperately need to do, we'll start buying new gym clothes because in theory i would be losing weight changing shape all of it so what are the rules for this one all of these equals five dollars 
every time I color one of these in, another $5 is getting saved. But when do I color one in? And since I have a daily health routine, which includes walking the dog, that no longer counts towards my health. That happens. He gets that unless it's disgusting out, either too hot or gross or much too cold. So this has to be about when I do more. This means that I have a stationary bike at home when I ride the bike. My tablet is down there so that I can read. It's right in front of the TV. I really should be. I'm just not. And it doesn't have to be for a prescribed amount of time. I just have to do it. I also have a weekly trainer appointment. That's not going to count. I do that anyway. So anytime I go to the gym, that isn't my trainer appointment. It could be an additional trainer appointment. I do have some that I've paid for and have not used, but anytime other than that one weekly trainer appointment. Anytime I go on an adventure that involves moving my body. This could be hiking with friends. I'm gonna count shopping if we go to like Ikea and walk around Ikea. If I get my heart rate up, if it's tracking my mileage, if the work I do can be added to the virtual races, then it gets counted. So an adventure that involves walking. If I work out with a friend in a way that isn't in my normal routine. Anything that can be called exercise for me will get colored in. The goal is to build up more stamina, more energy, to feel healthier. I feel so much better after I work out. My body doesn't hurt. I have like hip pain and not so much anymore because I've been working out. So I don't have any cash to go with this yet. So this will be an end of the week stuffing, but it'll go in the same binder as my no and low spend challenge. You can see here's November. Um, those are the old ones because I will be tracking how I do, but here's mine for the gym challenge. This is going to go in and we'll color in each time at the end of each week. Every so often I'll do an update with you so you can see how I'm doing and when it's time to unstuff and I need to buy my next set of medals, uh, I will. And then we'll start doing the YouTube growth one again. I've been putting that off far too long. And then I had something else for here. I don't remember what it was but we'll figure it out. I had something, but my goal is to, is to see how I do over time to figure out how long this takes and to uh, buy the next thing. So we're starting this November 21, 2023, and we'll see how long it takes me. The goal is that it takes less and less time each time I do this because these things become habit for me. And building the habit is the hardest part of doing this kind of life changing. If you're interested in seeing more about this, give me a uh, strong arm in the comments below. If you like this and you don't really want to leave a comment, do the thumbs up. If you don't like it, do the thumbs down. I really don't care. But give it some love in some way or another. And if you want to see more videos by me, subscribe to the channel. I do videos at least twice a week, Mondays and Fridays typically, but this month there's been more and I suspect there's going to be more over time anyway, because I just keep finding new ways to save money. If you like that, I'm excited and I hope to see you in the next video.